Welcome back everybody. In this video, we're gonna pick up where we left off in the last video. Well, sort of last video, but we're gonna continue working on this e-commerce app. So you notice we have a list of, uh, we have a list of categories there. We can scroll through there. We can select suits or socks or jeans or shirts or dresses or whatever, and we can scroll through these products. So one of the things you'll notice that I just did for testing was to add that little red, see the red icon there? That icon will appear if it's on sale. So see how the jeans are on sale, but that's not on sale. That's not on sale. More jeans on sale there. Those jeans are on sale. I think we have other stuff on sale too. If you scroll to the bottom, yeah, those khaki jeans or whatever on sale. So how do we actually go about displaying only that red icon, or how do we display that red icon only if it's on sale? So in this video, we're gonna do that, exactly that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, well, just, just so we understand, yeah, the red icon's only there if it's on sale. So those jeans are on, those jeans are on sale, so it's good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and kill that. And if, let's, go, let's open up our project. I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and close everything, and I'm gonna close that. Go into app, Java, com. Uh, then what we need to do is we need to look for, I think it's main fragment, yeah. So main fragment is where we're doing a little bit of, uh, we're like basically going to this URL and fetching some JSON. And I can actually go to that URL. So if I copy that and paste it into a browser, if we come here, this is what it looks like there. So we're basically, so if we go back to the app, you'll see, uh, I closed it. But if you go back to the app, if you go back to the app, then you'll notice there's small jeans, there's black shirts, there's on red jeans. But you'll notice just a few minutes ago, what I added was this flag, it's called is on sale. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy all of this code and you can just go to this URL there or whatever and paste in your JSON and hit process. And this will format it really nicely so we can actually view it. So this is a nicer way to view it. So we have small jeans, you have photo URL, description, price. Um, the two things that I just added were this description there and this is on sale. Uh, in the next video, we're, we'll work on description, but in this video, we're just gonna do is on sale. So this one, it's true. This one is false. This one is false. So you kind of get the picture. So let's go ahead and get started. So we have this, there's a siren outside. I live in downtown Austin. I don't know if you can hear the sirens, but it's kind of loud. So we're gonna take all this JSON right here. So if you look at that URL, it's findpointmobile.com slash whatever. Um, that's the same URL that's right here. So we're getting that data and we're converting it into a product there. So we did this in a previous video. So if you need to go back and check, uh, just watch the other parts in the series. Okay, so let's go ahead and click. I'm gonna command click or I think control click on uh, Linux or Windows on the product there. And we need to add a couple of fields. So if we go back to uh, this formatter here, we'll see we have name, which is, uh, yeah, we have name right there. We have photo URL there. And then we have price, but we don't have is on sale. So it's really important that it's capitalization is the exact same and the name is the exact same. Now there are ways to get around it. Like you'll notice this is photo URL, but we're basically getting it from photo URL there with an underscore there. So let's go back to our JSON. So we need is on sale. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll do this. We'll do, uh, we'll do Val is on sale and this will be a Boolean. So Boolean means either true or false. So it's like, yes, no. Um, think of a Boolean as that or a, a true, false. That's like whether it's, it's on sale or not. So yes or no, is it on sale? So we have that there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to main fragment and you'll notice that when we actually get to write, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But you'll notice when you get to this right here, we should see our new flag, which is, is on sale. So I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna go ahead and run it in the emulator. And if I go back to the emulator and give it a couple of seconds, we should see it show up here. It's installed in the APK and here we go. So we didn't see anything differently, but let's go ahead and do something else. So I'm gonna, uh, so if you see next to line 30 there, C30 or just somewhere around uh, this uh, layout manager there, I'm gonna click right there and I'm gonna put a red dot there. And what I'm gonna do next is click right there to the attach the debugger and click okay. Then I'm gonna go back to the emulator and I'm gonna go here and I'll just go to like socks or something or I'll go to shorts, just what, I think one of these is a different one. Settings maybe, go back to home. You'll notice that it instantly takes you back into Android Studio and you'll notice it stops, see where we have that red dot there? It stopped right on that line. So if you go back to the app, you'll see it's still loading. It's, it's pausing the app. It's gonna let us look at the app and say, hey, what's going on? So you'll notice at the bottom here, we have a debug tab right there. So I'm gonna pull it up a little bit. And one of the things you'll notice is there are some variables here. If not, you could click the, the plus button there and type out products. 
because that's the same product says right there, but we can, we can inspect that. So we already have it open there. So um, if we click on products here, you'll see there are 22 items. And we can actually drill down inside of these and see, double click and see is on sale true. We have a, a price, we have the small jeans. The small jeans are on sale, that's yes, that's true. Then back for this, nope, not on sale. The next one, nope, not on sale either. Uh, this one, no. This one, yes, that's on sale. So we have stuff that's on sale. That blue shirt's on sale. Really cool, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click the green button there. That'll continue the app. And if we go back to the emulator, you'll notice it finishes running. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the debug, uh, the, de the debug tab down there. And I'm gonna click again on that red to get rid of it. So we have our flag here. We just saw we have that is, we have that, we have that is on sale. So the next thing we need to do is let's go back to main activity and let's look for our adapter. So on our recycler view, we have adapter. So let's go ahead and command click on products adapter. And here's kind of where we're setting up. And if you need, if you need to refresh on what this is, there should be a layout somewhere. Uh, here it is. So if you command, yeah, search, look for r.layout.productrow. If you command click on there, you'll see this is our layout here. So we're gonna put the, we're gonna put the, uh, the, the is for sale icon or that little dollar sign, the red icon, we're gonna put it right up there in the corner. Okay, so let's go back to products adapter, but just to, just to make sure we have it down, I'm going to do something. So what we're gonna do is instead of, uh, let's just go ahead and comment out that line and let's do this. Let's do, um, we'll do, we'll kind of do the same. These are holder.price.text equals, and then we'll do, is it on sale? And then we'll do dollar sign product dot is on sale. So that, I think this will, I don't even know if this will work because it's a Boolean value. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to basically say, um, we're just trying to like display it on the screen. So let's go ahead and run that. I don't even know if this will work or not. I don't usually do this, I'll usually do it other ways. So uh, yeah, this, this works. So is it on sale, true, is it on sale, false, 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 true, false, false, true. So we have some stuff there, okay, so that's really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a command Z or control Z to get back to that because I just wanted to make sure that some stuff's on sale and some stuff isn't on sale. So if you go back to here in the emulator, yeah, you'll see clearly some stuff is on sale, some stuff isn't, so it's working. So let's do this. Let's do, let's do this. Let's do, let's comment that out one more time. Sorry, I'm just kind of going all over the place here. Let's do this. If, and then we'll do if, then we need to get our product, which is right there. So if product dot is on sale, then we'll do holder dot price equals dot text equals um, on sale. Uh, otherwise we'll do else, holder.price.text equals, um, sorry. So we'll do sorry, not on sale. So this is a basic if statement. It's basically saying if the product's on sale, do that, do that line, or if it's not on sale, do that line. So I'm gonna save it and run it and go back to the emulator. And this should say, that's in basic if statement. So on sale, sorry, not on sale. Okay, cool. So now, now let's do this. So we wanna add that little icon there. So let's go, let's open up re, re, the resources file and let's go to drawables and we can right click and go to new and then we can do vector asset. And you might not see this icon because I, because you haven't selected it before, but make sure clip art is selected and then right where it says clip art here, click on there. And you'll notice we have tons of icons here we can use. I mean, we can use all kinds of icons if we want like a, a world or arrows or we want like a, a conversation or we want, all these are free and open source. You can use these in apps. Any of these icons you can use in the app, in your app. So we want a profile, we might want a, you know, a somebody in sleeping, we've got an airport, we've got a bus, all kinds of really cool stuff. So I think this was called, um, I think it's money, yeah, money. So search for money. And let's go ahead and select, you know, let's see if there's a better icon for sale. I'm just gonna look around a little bit, see if there's a better one for sale. I don't know, I should have done this before. We could, but literally we can put in all kinds of icons. So I just wanna look really quickly for one if it's on sale. I think that money one might be the best bet. I don't see another one that looks better. That kind of matches it. I don't think they have one for sale, no, or bank, or yeah. I don't know, we'll just go ahead and do the money, 
Um, and then we'll do, we'll do this, we'll do, uh, yeah, we'll do that right. No, let's do, let's just do the attach money. Let's do that one right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it and hit okay. And then that's fine, hit next, finish. And then notice we have a new icon there. So that's the icon that we just added. So if we double click on that, we can see it show up right there. And it's kind of hard to see in the preview there. But if we change the color, we can change, uh, let's do this, let's change it to, uh, so that means that's like the color value there. So we have red there, or you can always click on there and you can pick, you can, you know, do it whatever color you want to make it. It can literally be any color. So we can, you know, experiment. What color do you want it to be? Oh, a little bit darker. We can make it black. We can make it any color. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that right there. Um, and let's go back to our products row and we actually need to add it here. So we have our main image right there and this row is for every single product. So that's, uh, that section, that's that section right there. That's our main photo. Okay, so right below our photo, what we're gonna do is we need to add this new icon. So let's do this. Let's do image view, and then we'll do wrap content, wrap content, and then we'll do this. We'll do uh, source equals, and then we have that new attach money. So just start typing attach money, and there we are. So it's complaining that we haven't um, constrained it yet. So what we're going to do is let's do this. Let's do left to left of parent, uh, then right to right of, or uh, uh, top to top of parent. So I'm just typing a few characters out of it, but what you want is that right there. So just start typing left to left, and then it'll p automatically pop up for you. So now it gets rid of that error, and we see we have that, the, the, the dollar sign icon there. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. I'm a huge fan of running very often because stuff can go wrong and it's good to know that it's good to know that yeah so there, there's 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 our icon so now it's on all of them but we we don't want it on all of them we want it if just if it's on sale so let's do this let's give it an id so we'll do this id, uh, ID equals and then we'll call this um a sale image view so there we go sale image view we'll give it an id and let's go back uh, let's go ahead and close that we're done with that and we're done with that, and I think we're done with, uh, we'll keep it open just in case. So let's go ahead and put it back to how it was. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncomment that line, and then I'm gonna delete all these other lines. So we're back to there now. Okay, cool. So the one thing we need to do is, if it's on sale, hide or display that photo. So let's do this. We need to actually come down, uh, let's, uh, let's get started here. Okay, so if, I'll create some space. If is on sale uh, product, dot is on sale, then we want to do something else. We want to do something else. So hopefully this makes sense. Okay. Now we need to access our sale image view, but we don't have access to it yet. Uh, actually we need to put holder, but we holder dot, um, see we only have those three there, the price, the image, and the title. So let's go down to our view holder, which is down here. And let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do Val we'll do is on sale equals item view dot, uh, I think we call this sale image view. And that's a new way of doing it. We can also use, we could, we could have also used find view by ID, find view by ID, but this is a little shortcut where you just like type the name using uh, uh, Kotlin synthetics. So it is on sale is there. Now let's go back up to here, is on sale. If it's on, uh, actually that's not what we want to do. Wait, what do we want to do? Oh yeah, 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 so is on sale, if it's on sale, dot visibility so if it is on sale view dot visible otherwise we'll do holder dot is on sale dot we should have named this yeah we need this so the names are confusing let's go ahead and rename that to sale and we'll name the sale sale image view so we need to, i'm going to go ahead and copy that right there and we'll add it there and there, that's a little bit confusing, but now it's a little bit better. Dot visibility equals view dot gone. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and save it. We're basically saying, hey, so this image view right there, that little red, the red dollar sign, we give it an idea of sale image view. If that's on sale, we want to make it visible. Otherwise, we're going to make it gone. So I'm going to save it, and I'm going to go up there and run it, and let's see if this works. It could work, it could crash, who knows what's gonna happen. And cool, so that's on sale there. That's on sale, we see the dollar sign icon. That's on sale. 
So cool, we actually have stuff on sale now. So I don't, um, it's a little bit hard to see, so I'm just gonna really quickly see if I can do something else. Um, there, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it. I think it's good for good enough for now. In a future, this video is kind of long, but in a future video, we'll continue working on this. Um, if you have any questions, I, I'm very busy, but I try to respond to some of them. So hopefully you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.